But then the seat next to me was wide open. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. And I'm like, I, I, you know what? I already know oh, what the opie experience is. Oh, no. Is. Oh, no. I'll bet you somebody's getting on this plane. Oh. Last minute. Yep. And fucking, as with doors closing, Uh-oh. on walks Uh-oh. Nicolas Cage. Whoa, Nick Cage. Nick Cage. It's sitting right oh. next to you. Right next to you. For the whole flight out. In- so he sits down. I know oh, the OP no. experience already. It's an Obama oh, moment. Oh no! Well, he sits down, and I'm like, you know, he he. Nick, I know you guys have had. I wasn't here when he was in. He was great. I know. We had a lot of fun with him, but I have never met him. And I mean, he's a fucking movie star. Nicholas Cage is a fucking movie yeah. Star. Say Can't what you want. It. Can't deny it. He is. It. So he sits next to me, and I'm like, um, I'm like, hey man, how you doing? And he goes up, <clears throat> hi. <laughs> That's very good, Jimmy. It was a very Holy shit. it was a very abrupt Yeah. In, in that high, here's what I realized. Okay. He will respond when spoken to. He does not wish to talk. Yes. He's very used to people attempting to make conversation Certainly. with him and he is very good at shutting it down. <clears throat> right. But I didn't dislike him in that moment at all because I understood that this guy Did you hear in that moment? I heard it. Well, I mean, in that moment of this realization... Okay. You just have talked about face-off the entire... Flight. Well, I said to him... Oh, my God. I'm like, well, he doesn't know who I am. Yeah, But, yeah, I mean, yeah. you know, I got some fucking... You know, I got some fucking... You got some heat? So I said... Uh, no, I just want a few things to talk about. Oh, oh, boy. So I said... Re- I realized quickly that when he just said hi, this was an abrupt... It was basically his way of going hello and shut the fuck and up. And shut the fuck up. I know I'm me. Yeah. You I, know I'm me. I know shut you want to talk up. to me. Right. But, you know. Me you don't want to talk to you. You want a, <laughs> <laughs> you want a story to tell your friends. Yeah. I don't want to be part of it. So yeah. I said, uh, I'm like, I immediately think, all right, you got to bond quick. Oh, boy. So I said, uh, you were on uh, the radio show I'm on. Um and, and he goes, uh, huh, yeah. And I said, uh, it oh was, my uh, god, he does a great Nicholas Cage now. I'm I, totally picking I, up the vibe. I, I, I do a good disinterested Nicholas Cage. Yes, because that's the only one I've experienced. <laughs> oh my god. And I said, uh, I said, uh, yeah. I'm like, I, I, but I realized immediately he didn't want to hear anything. He didn't give a fuck. Uh, but again, it's a weird. Like, it, it wasn't. This guy's an asshole. I didn't feel. Like he was an. I've met a lot of assholes. I didn't feel I'm like getting, he was one. Are you getting a feeling? Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm getting a little douchey feeling. No, no, no. Here, but I, I understand these things. <laughs> so I said, uh, I said, uh, you got some creds. Oh boy. But I, but I know when someone, like I understand. Not wanting to be like he didn't want to be bothered. Were you hoping he, he said like like Hey, I saw your comedy show. Yeah, yeah, it was great. I pretty much, of course. Oh, that would have been great. I, you right? know, and then uh, you could have gone, yeah. Yeah, like you didn't want to be bothered. <laughs> yeah, but he, but he goes, uh, he goes, huh? Yeah, and I go, are you? Uh, I'm like, yeah, but I wasn't there that day. And it's the Opie and Anthony show. Oh, God. and he goes, uh, he goes, hey, how are you? And he shakes my hand, and then he just turns away and picks up his script. Holy Immediately shit. shuts me down. Yes. So I knew he had. He might have recognized the name Opie and Anthony show. Maybe. But. You realize he, most of these guys forget us. But I don't know who was that. As they leave. Or if he just didn't really register what I was saying, and he just knew he had done the opium. So he might have thought that I was going, hey, you were on my favorite radio show. Because right. he was half listening oh, to me. Boy. So it was basically, what he, you know, he might have thought I was saying, hey, I enjoyed you on the, you right. were on my favorite radio show, Opie and Anthony. Right. And he was like, he didn't want to open the door with just a radio show appearance. So he had a script and a bunch of stuff there. Hey, what you reading? Yeah, uh, believe me, I, I wanted to, but I'm like, we got five hours. Oh, oh no, no. Oh, Jimmy! This was the first what, five minutes tops? Yeah, but I said I got a few bullets in the chamber. Oh, oh no! no. Oh, <laughs> Jimmy is obsessed with celebrity, so this is putting you and him in a very awkward position. Yeah, but I wasn't going to make it. I respected his desire to not be bothered. No, you didn't. Well. Oh, my God. He's <laughs> I, got five hours. Oh, my I God. Did, no, no, I wasn't bad. I, I did respect it. I didn't speak to him. How I, long did you not speak to him where you realized it's time to use one of my bullets? Um, I waited a while, man, because I realized that. <laughs> to the fucking end of the runway? <laughs> yeah, he backed out of the gate. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then I was like, how did you get your face off? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, oh. No, I didn't say I, I uh. I'm like, leave him alone. He doesn't want to be bothered. He was—he looked like he might have been tired. Uh, he didn't seem hungover. He just seemed tired. Like, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. And maybe he's going in to shoot a scene. He wasn't supposed to be shot. Who knows? I mean, oh, sure. So I didn't want to fucking annoy the guy. So we're up in the air. We're flying, and and, and I'm like, uh, 
I really want to talk to Nicholas Cage. Oh, God. How Do you know I... how obsessed Jimmy was? This entire of flight is like... You can't even think of anything else. He's right, right next to me. And your mind is working going, how am I going to break this? You couldn't think of anything else, could you? No, but I'll tell you about it. I was so into not bothering him yeah. that he and I were sitting. like He was the window, I was the aisle. And then there's a big middle seat in the aisle. And then to the left of that is window and aisle. So right in front of us is a monitor. And then in front of the aisle middle seat, there's also a monitor. Uh -huh. And I was so not wanting to be like looking towards him. I actually looked inconveniently to the left oh. up at the monitor just to be purposefully looking away from, so he wouldn't feel well, my looking at him energy. Well then, uh, Jimmy, why didn't you get up and sit in the seat where you would have been right in front of the middle seat monitor and then you wouldn't have been next to Nicolas Cage to... Well, you can't do that because there was somebody in that seat. Was oh, I thought uh, it was an empty seat. No, no, they were all full. There was uh -oh. a pilot actually in that seat. Ah! Um, so I, I figured here's what I'll do. <laughs> Maybe Nick will want to talk to me. So I said, what I'll do is this. You got a couple of bullets in the chamber. <laughs> oh. I'm like... Oh, my God. I'm this like, is so douchey. No, no, no. I, I, I knew... I had a question <laughs> for him. <laughs> of course you but did. I said, let me, let me try a couple things first. So I open up my laptop, and I know that I have a picture of me and Ali on my laptop. So I'm like, hopefully he'll notice that and go, where'd you meet him? I'm like, maybe that's what he'll have. You never know. This is <laughs> little Jimmy. Yes, this is young course. Jimmy. That's and why one this of has his, to be animated. His story is like... has to be animated. Where he imagines things. But I open the Aww. laptop... Yeah. And uh, uh nothing. Boots up <laughs> proper. <laughs> no question. But can yeah. he but can he see the laptop easily? Just Were you turning it a little? No, I actually this is what a fucking <laughs> this is what a this is premeditated I shit. Know. And scary. This is what a phony I am. Oh. I, I angled it in a way where it wasn't it was only open instead of being open hundred percent, it was open seventy yeah. percent. Almost like, you know, I didn't want to showcase the picture, but I did. But you, <laughs> oh my god. And you he, thought that on your head as well. Of course I did. And then I, I lifted it up. And this then, is how serial killers think, by the way. Oh, of course. Yeah. Yeah. But I think in these moments, most people think this way. I just became embarrassed by my thought process. Oh. I, I think most people have these weird thoughts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's like you block it out because it's humiliating. Yeah. <laughs> Here it is. So do you have any more bullets in your chamber? I did. Uh, um, so the alley uh, thing didn't work? No. At not all. at all. How long, wait, before you move on. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> right by him. Before you move on, how long was the Ali picture up? Well, it's, on my, it's literally just my laptop picture. It's me sitting next to Ali. It's a great but shot. But I mean, how long did you just have it kind of sort of on display? Two seconds, again, because it opens up clear, and then all you know how your desktop, your your your, your computer screen opens, and then whatever your background picture is showcased alone. Of course. And then three seconds, five seconds oh. later, all your things. Yeah, come. but you know it was still a good picture. Um, and the other question: Did he ever look? At this point, has he looked back over to you at all for any reason? I don't know. He had his sunglasses on. Oh. But I'll say this. <laughs> not to not make eye contact. <laughs> but when... Oh, but, did he not want any part of talking? But when the, whenever the to flight... anybody, not just Jim. No, no. But whenever the flight attendant came over, he was extremely courteous. Yeah. That's why I'm saying he wasn't a dick. Like, he was extremely courteous and... Uh, you know, like the guy would give him something, or he was, you know, can I get you a water? Okay, thank you very much. Like, he was just extraordinarily polite. Yeah. Like, so he was, again, you, you, I didn't get any kind of a dick vibe. Uh -huh. And I can't say someone's a dick just because they don't want to talk. Well, of course not. Um, so I have to respect that. We're going to find out why he's a dick for real, though, in a minute. Well, no, I, you <laughs> Could know. you imagine, Jimmy, yes. a, a huge Jim Norton fan sitting next to you for five yes. hours just fucking trying to start a conversation? You're just like... Maybe you want to sleep, you want to do something, you're busy, you're reading something. Yes. And just someone, and you, you'd look over and know. You would know that he's trying to figure out a way to, to break the ice with you. But he I, knew. Break the ice is a good way to put it. Uh, uh, but I didn't. Oh, shit. But I didn't. But I did, I get, I, I know I've been in that position, oh although not nearly, oh you know, boy. not one Ooh, millionth so the amount of times he has been. Yeah. But I've had those moments, so I yes. know what it's like. So again, I did respect it, though. I didn't talk to him uh -huh. I, for a while. I, I said nothing to him. And then um, I opened the computer screen, and I'm watching, we have a documentary we got called 237. It's a documentary where these guys break down The Shining as a... I watched uh, it last night. It's fucking mental. Yeah, I agree. I, I don't do mean? know it's what mental. the fuck they were going for there. Oh, okay. Was it a joke? Were they going for oh, it? Oh, like... I think they meant, they meant it. It's crazy, people. It's guys breaking down what, what Kubrick was really saying in The Shining. And none of them got it right. No. I mean, I can't think that Kubrick 
who, by the way, as per this documentary, uh, was in on faking the uh, uh, moon film of the moon landing. He actually directed the fake film of the moon landing. And The Shining is his way of letting everyone know that that's what he did. So he put little secret things in there to let everyone know that he actually faked um, the uh, fil any film you see of the moon what, landing. What were some of the fake things in the movie that... He well, snuck you, in there. You you saw little Danny wearing the Apollo Eleven shirt, didn't you? Yes. Okay. Oh, stop! <laughs> you you weren't buying it. <laughs> Not as much as I bought the fact that um, Stanley Kubrick uh, in The Shining was um, uh, directly telling people about the Holocaust or the Native American or the plight of the Native American slaughter. Why, why did these <sighs> guys come up with this idea? I don't know. Kub Where does this come from? A couple of things they said that I thought maybe that maybe it was a wink from Kubrick. Um, I'm sure these guys do a little wink here and there, but yeah, because Kubrick was too particular and too meticulous yeah. to to be coincidental with certain things. Yeah, certain things. Like there was a weird thing, like uh, when, when they first walk into the uh, freezer, and uh, there's these this this whatever the product was, what's it uh, called? Yeah, but the... it's an American Indian thing. There was a few American Indian things, and like it was so purposefully displayed. Kubrick was saying something mm -hmm. here. All right, in the beginning maybe. you can maybe, but then when you see things that just happen and you see them re it's very quickly they're reaching yeah like, they like were literally so reaching three things in they're reaching yeah right. and uh that oh, woman talking about the minotaur that was on the nonsense. fucking thing it's like you are a fucking idiot that's not a skiing poster that's a minotaur no it's what? a skiing poster a minotaur yeah she took set design way too literally oh, right God. um there was a couple of moments that were really fucking scary though like creepy like when they were saying the walk around when they were showing Jack oh, yeah, the walk yeah, around, yeah, yeah. and they said when he walks into Stuart Ullman's office and they sit down and they're looking out this beautiful window, they're like, That window can't be there. It it's can't in the middle be of there. the hotel. Yeah, yeah. That, and that creeped me out. I'm like, What a creepy. That was weird. There's yeah. probably a couple things that Kubrick did on purpose that were just creepy. If you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. Um, yeah. Or maybe it was just this is a movie set and these little inconsistencies happen. Exactly. Yeah, sure. But that, that at least went in line with the film. It was horrifying. Char. So I didn't get as far into that as Anthony did. I've watched maybe maybe out of the nine. What? How long is it? I was going to turn it off. Yeah. I, and then I, I was just like, I'm nah, the remotes all the way over there. Fuck it. <laughs> I was but, like, so I watched the whole thing, but it didn't get any better. Well, Jimmy it wasn't watch, any big surprises. And Jimmy couldn't watch the whole movie because he had, he had some things to take care of. Yep. Well, I was Things already, need to be done. I was already into it, so I said, let me watch some more of this, because it was uh, they were showing like little pieces of The Shining, and they were showing pieces of The Shining, and they would show <laughs> oh, no. other movie clips and them talking about it. There was so, other like Kubrick movies. They were showing yeah. Eyes Wide Shut and yes. uh, shit like that. Yeah, yeah. So it was these weird things in The Shining they were showing. So I'm like, you know what, I'll watch this for a while, because Nick might look over and wonder. What is that you're watching? No, it was such an interesting wouldn't. thing. And, and that's the only reason you put this on, right? Yeah, I was like, you know, he might look over and go, what is that? <laughs> no, watching. he wouldn't. Well, you're, you're, is you're, you're is this, correct. You're just, <laughs> you're just the guy watching something so, on a plane. And this is your second bullet. The Muhammad Ali picture was the first bullet, the second bullet. No, it's my third bullet. The yeah. Opie and Anthony oh, right, right. show mentioned was right, the first right. one. Right, that's the first but one. But you're thinking, all right, I got this movie. It, it might yeah, spark you might interest. Think it's, uh, okay. you might think it's... Oh, <laughs> boy. You might think it's interesting. <laughs> but uh, probably he had seen it because... Uh, you should have put on, like, Leaving Las Vegas. No, I, that, I couldn't do anything, believe me, if I thought it would help. But I'm like, I tilt, can't Tilt it towards him yeah. and kind of look like, eh? And just go, eh? Eh? Huh? You're really good in this. Yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. Hey, look who's on the screen now, huh? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> so I put this uh, documentary <sighs> in. Yeah. That didn't, no nibbles. Swing and a miss. Yeah, big swing and a miss. I was, uh, apparently I hadn't matched the hatch because there were no nibbles. <laughs> no. <laughs> so now you're, are you toiling, thinking of another way that perhaps you can spark up a... I really was, yeah. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> I was thinking of all this. I love this. And uh, oh, Jimmy's adorable. And uh, how many hours into the flight are you at this point? Probably two and a half to three. Almost half over. Yeah. Okay. So I'm like, I go online. I'm reading emails from my producer because I'm shooting. I'm having an issue with the venue in Boston, of course. But it's something that we. Uh, it's over the haze. Uh, when you shoot comedy, you haze the room. Yeah, uh, so it looks like smoke filled and a little. Of, it yes, gives you depth yes. and stuff like that. It's a weird camera trick. It's from the reverse, it shows the spotlight. Right. Kind of cool. Now, in Boston, because of that great white fire, there's been so many 
new fire codes that they don't turn. You have to turn off the smoke alarms. You can fucking set the sprinklers off. So a lot of these venues do not want to do this. They're no haze venues because mm -hmm. of this. So uh, we're having issues because we were under the impression that we would be able to have a workaround with this where it would work. We were ill-informed. Oh, my oh. God. So now I am doing a uh, possibly shooting without any haze at all. Oh, no. So my question is, am I okay with that or am I not okay with that? Uh, will it hurt the shoot or will it look good? So I'm suicidal about this. Like, I'm oh, so livid about this. And uh, thank you. And, and then I, I luckily I, I see Louis C.K. the other night. So I'm like, I just want to talk to Louis because again, with this shit, he has a, any shot in Boston before. <laughs> God bless you. Thank bless you. you. I'll just see. So I think he's overseas, but the other night in the day. cellar, he just walks in. Yeah. And uh, I'm like, oh, fucking thank God. So I, I asked him, cause I want to know, how do you create this depth in a camera without smoke? So I said, I'm not doing I'm fucking ups I, I can't believe this is happening. I'm like, how do you do it with smoke? And he goes, I don't know. I've never used smoke. I'm like, you don't mm. use it? He goes, no, it's stupid. Never once. Oh, so I geez. felt immediately a little bit better. I'm yeah, like, well, yeah. you know, he's everyone else uses it, but he didn't. So it's like, maybe you can get away maybe with that. Use it. Yeah, maybe you can get away with that using it. So um, I'm getting emails from my, my the producer of the special showing me venue photos. She did some footage of a venue with no haze, and she showed me how it would look. And she sent me some haze videos, and I actually liked the one without haze. I was like, it mm. looks pretty fucking crisp and clear. And then I saw the reverse of the uh, something that had Comedy Central had shot with haze, and I'm like, it just looks huh. fucking tired. Like the haze, like the smoky, dramatic comedian haze looked yeah. awful. And I wasn't taking lemons and making lemonade. I was literally, because I, I was thinking about mo moving venues, and right. I have time to do that. But I'm like, fuck, man, I like it without the haze. So I'm like, I know what I'll ask Nick. Oh! <laughs> I'm like, I know. I didn't know this was coming. Of course it was. Why it else came would out I go of nowhere. Off? Why else would I go on a tangent like this for no reason? <laughs> oh, no, no, Jimmy. I'll ask him a camera question. Oh, no. I'm like, I know because, again, I wasn't sure if he had directed or not. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm like, maybe. I, I am so uncomfortable. I can't <laughs> even believe this now. Well, but I've seen him work. Oh, Jimmy's amazing. God, I saw no. him try to work a stewardess once, and I'm like, he has big fucking balls. Oh, God, no. Jimmy, yeah. you got to tell me exactly what he was doing at every moment when, like, right before... Mm. Oh, well, oh, no. I said, let me ask. I wanted to ask him about what you do to create uh, depth and, 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 a, and a hazing Now, question. by the way, this is to try to segue into, well, why would you need to know that? Why would he need to right. know? Oh, oh, he's doing a, well, because I'm doing a thing. Yes. And then it gets you are men of similar ilk. Right. It's, and it's that's all you want in the end. All. That's all. But I don't even oh. want that. I only want to get to a point oh. where a photo will be approved. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is all about a photo. Of course it yes. is. Yes. Because yeah. I'm under no illusion that we're going to be friends. Okay. Yeah. So uh, he gets up to go to the bathroom. So I know he's awake and I'm not bugging him. Oh. Like, you know, and then when he sits back down. He's just waiting and wait. Well, you just have to do it at the right time. Did he say excuse me to you when he got out? No, he just he didn't. There's so much room. Like he didn't have. Oh, he didn't sure. have to, believe okay. me. But I moved back a little. I moved my feet uh -huh. back. You know. Um, and then when he was, he was coming back in, his coffee cup was teetering. Like not teetering, but it was there. And I'm like, you know, a, par a part of me almost, almost held it for him so he didn't knock it over. So he say thanks, but I didn't. Thank God. Like when I flew. He's with, thinking of every, every single detail. Like detail. In 2003, when I flew to fucking. My fucking 50 Cent was on the plane next to me, yeah. and we ran out of things to say to each other before we backed out of the gate. <laughs> yes, that and was then, a great story in your book. He was asleep, and the food was coming around, and I almost opened his tray for him, but I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do it. Oh, you are a disgrace. I am a disgrace. I don't like saying this stuff because oh, it's love embarrassing. It. No, it's great. It's but it's, it's so you know, good. But so I say to him when he sits down, I go, uh, I go, uh, oh, no. right when he sat down. Yeah, I gave before he got a chance to. Well, yeah, a second, like you know, pick uh, up his script again and ignore you. Well, no, no, no. I, I, I gave him a second. I didn't, I didn't panic. But I mean, it was, it was a pretty natural. Please tell me exactly what you said. Well, I said, uh, wait, wait, did I? Uh, <laughs> he said, I said, can I ask you a, uh, oh, I said, can I ask you a camera question? Oh. And he goes, huh? And I go, oh, oh no. no. I, he's a very literal guy. I go, uh, can I ask you a question about cameras? And he goes, go ahead. Go ahead. It was that abrupt. Abrupt. Go ahead. And I'm like, uh, uh, okay. I said, well, I'm shooting a comedy special. 
nothing. I, I literally could have said I'm doing a documentary on oh. lilacs, and it oh, would have had the no. same so, effect. Are you heating up inside? Getting I'm all shooting like, a comedy special. Do you heat up inside and get when you get uncomfortable? No, you have to. You have to let it play through. Now again, he must have thought. That you're, you're, a friend is is doing an open mic night and you're going with a camera to video him. Like, that's the oh. level he probably thought. Like, had, I'm shooting. I like, not that you're the comic. I hadn't thought of that. And not that it's a, for a big fucking, you know. I hadn't thought of that. Yeah, I bet. So, uh, well, that was bullet four. Uh, <laughs> and, and, and then I'm like, do you know anything about the hazy or whatever? Um, and he goes, and, and he's thinking about it for a second. He's just thinking about it. And he goes, uh... I don't know. He goes, uh, eh. He goes, I, I just don't know. He goes, look, apologies. But uh, anyway, he was very nice. Again, he was nice. He wasn't oh, there. God. Apologies. Uh, but I don't want to give you the wrong. What did he say? I don't know that much about what we do on this side of it. So I don't want to mislead you by telling you the wrong information. Uh, oh, boy. I was like, oh, okay, thanks. Oh. Bullet five. <laughs> <laughs> But that didn't lead to more conversation? No. Again, yeah. I, I kept it brief. Yeah. I respected his desire to No, be like, you didn't. But I did. My internal craziness, <laughs> my internal craziness had nothing to do with him. This is the stuff that makes me uncomfortable. Oh, people always I ask am me. fucking just... But my, internal, is, oh, my is... internal craziness was not his fault. Like, he didn't know. It was literally the question I asked him for... It took less than a minute, and that was done. I didn't pursue it. I didn't keep it going. I just don't have the balls to even attempt this. That's, that's why this makes me so uncomfortable. So now you need to hash another uh, scheme. Another hair brain scheme. <laughs> another hair brain <laughs> scheme. So you're still, you're still in. He's got hope, still. Well, Jimmy's still in. As long as that plane's fucking in the air, Jimmy has hope. Well... So I, yeah, this is how bad it got. At one point, as he was taking, <laughs> no, he jumped up and he was taking luggage out of the, out of the overhead. Oh my god! Out of the overhead, and a part of me was hoping that while he was pulling his bag out, that he would drop it and hit me with it. So just that he would go, "Oh, sorry," and I'd go, "Oh, that's okay." And then when I wanted to take a picture, he'd feel guilty and take one. I was hoping he'd hurt me with his luggage. He wanted Nick Cage to <laughs> drop luggage on him so he could get a picture. <laughs> The fucking <laughs> fantasies that go on. Uh, this is so good. How the mind works. Uh, Jim Norton Jimmy. Mind works. Yeah, man. So, uh, God. he didn't hit me with his man. luggage. And um, so I'm like, here's what I got to do. I'm like, this is not looking good. <laughs> no, not at all. Where you're, you're, you're starting your descent at this point? No, but there's plenty of time until the descent, but I just left him alone. I didn't, again, you I didn't, left him alone for a good hour, probably, at this more point? Than that, yeah. More so than that. I said, what I'm going to do is this. Wait, how many bullets have you used at this point? Five. <laughs> All right, how how long into the flight are you already? It's about halfway through, but then I, I know... So five bullets in about two and a half, three hours. I said, what I'm going to do is I have to wait. I want to get a picture with him, but again, the way to do it is, I mean, you got to be fucking... <laughs> Pete prepared. Oh. No fucking fumbling. Oh boy. No nothing. So I uh, I got my camera. <sighs> believe it or not, I, I I was like I knew this was psychotic, but not long after that I got my camera and I put it in my right sweat jacket pocket, and then I I very discreetly in the bathroom unzipped it. In the bathroom. In the bathroom. Well, right to the bathroom plane. to prepare his yes, camera. Yes. I, I didn't want to do it in no, front of him. Because he would have known. Yeah. I'll even show you the picture. I t I'll even show you the picture. I took of myself, the practice picture in the bathroom to make sure I had it. And then I was holding it right. <laughs> you're, you're a mental patient. But here's the way I was going to do it. As we're walking up the jetway, you can't get him outside because then people fucking swarm the guy. He's yeah. an A-list <clears throat> fucking guy. Oh, yeah. So in the jetway, you got to be... Ready and for my camera, it's best to hold it like to do the self picture. Right, you do it. You hold it out and you and you snap it uh -huh. quick while you're walking up the jetway. It's quick. He's not inconvenienced. Then he goes. It literally he'd have to stop yeah. for maybe hey, who's that? A second and a half. Who's that? He looks familiar. Um, is that like a? Oh, I don't know. Oh, man. who's the guy with the gray hair? Just an executive. No, he looks like somebody. Oh no. He looks like um. Is he a religious thing or? Oh no. Who is that? Go find out, Sam. Please. Uh, he is he like please. um they're showing him the works here is they're showing he, uh, him wait he might be uh is he the new mel? one of those guys or? is it malone let me is let he me, the new mel let me google no, him he have, no, no, dude no. he looks like someone that i've seen before if he was though. the new mel he would have a lot more people around him right, showing mel? him there's only two guys showing dude him. i think that might be the the guy hold on let me say i don't know tell you he looks saying. very wealthy he looks familiar let me see i don't know i'll have an answer in two seconds here Oh. 
Travis doesn't know. Travis mm-hmm. doesn't know. Sam is now stalking them down the hallway yeah, very creepily. Sam. Yeah. Oh, uh, for some reason it's not coming up. Do you know who it is? Travis doesn't know. He looks like somebody. Let's see. Okay. He, he just looks rich. rich. Yeah. No, it's John Malone, right? Yeah. Why did I say Joe? Oh, jeez. Hold on a minute. I don't think it is, though. Hold on. No, it's not John Malone. I'll have an answer in a sec. Um, that girl's really pretty. On Fox. Yeah, yeah the Fox business. Mm. Fox business girl. Who is she? She's beautiful. Yeah. Eh? Or no? No. Okay. No. We gotta find out who that guy is, please. Probably just like a Liberty exec. Nah, he, he was way, okay. Yeah, but he might be a Liberty. He's way up there because he he yeah. was a very important. Yeah. He was a VIP. Mm-hmm. We know when the VIPs walk uh, past our studio, and you notice they didn't look in here. That's never a good sign. Yeah. All right, so back to Jim's story. So Practice I'll, picture in the bathroom. Yeah, let me see if I have it. Hold on. Oh boy, this is so. Could you do any of this stuff? No. Yeah, I can't do any of this. I would sit there and just not say a word to him. I'll, I'll get mad at myself that I didn't, but I know I can't step up no. and actually attempt I, it. I'd be the guy that, like, that he would be like, oh, good thing. It took everything. Good thing it was him. It took everything in my fucking being to ask Joe Pesci for a picture, and then when and he then said no, it's like, this down. is why I don't fucking do That's any of this. That's why you don't. Let me say that. Ew. <laughs> it's a practice Ew, picture. Ew, Jimmy's back. practice picture. He's smiling. But it's like, this is how I'll look with wait, yeah. Nick Cage next you're to me. You're missing the, okay, you're missing the obvious yes. part. He even centers it like, okay, this is where Nicolas Cage will be in my yes. photo. Yes. Yes. Jimmy's all the way to the right in this photo. That we is just a that. perfect practice shot. Yeah. That, that, you know what? You know how to practice. Yeah. So what I do is this. I figure, and I don't know why I figured this. I said, I want to ask him. <laughs> no, no more asking. Uh, enough with asking Nick Cage anything. Well, I wanted to ask him. <laughs> yes? I didn't want to just have the camera and ask him with the camera, because I was afraid he'd say no. So I wanted to ask him while we were still sitting there oh, on the plane. Beforehand, hey. Because uh, I-, I figured, it, like, once we touch down, oh, I want to ask him. Oh, no. Um, Now, that could backfire, too, though, because now he's not on the spot for the picture, so he could say no, and that blows everything. Well, yeah, but it's more uncomfortable to say no when you've got to be next to somebody, and this way I would have had... See, he thought this out. Yeah. So I said to him once once we landed... I'm like, uh, I'm like, dude, I don't want to. I'm like, I got to. I'm a huge fan, and he goes, thank you. And he shakes my hand. He was actually very gracious. Uh-huh. He, he was very appreciative, and I'm like, yeah, I've been a fan for a long time, and I'm like, uh, you know, I would love to uh, take a picture with you. Like, is it possible to do it in the jetway on the way out, so no one will, like, no one will bother you? I said it like that, and he goes, ah. Uh, <laughs> oh no. He goes, uh, you know, he goes, I'm not really doing the picture thing. He goes, because I, I, I'm really tired, and and it was. I knew it was because he felt like he probably didn't look like he wanted to be photographed. I said that's the Pesci. Pesci. Thing. Yeah. Said that to me. So, fuck. I don't have a picture. But I. But I kind of knew that that was going to happen. Did you just go? Yeah. Fuck you. Um, no. <laughs> that would have been great. I would have just <laughs> sat there and punch him in the face. No, I would have just shut down and started sobbing right next to him. <laughs> I thought afterwards of a lie that I should have told him, but I. I didn't. Oh. Um, um, some type of medical problem. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But I wasn't angry because I was like, all right, he, I had a feeling. I was a little disappointed. And immediately after, he goes, uh, he goes, he goes, uh, he goes, no, nah, man, because I just don't want to be, you know, he's like, I'm not, I'm very tired right now. And I think he was just saying, like, I don't look photographable. Right. Um, and he goes, but I'll sign an autograph if you want. And I almost said, no, thanks, and sulked. But then I'm like, don't be a dick. You so, almost went like, no, thanks. No, but like, no, nah, that's okay. But I was like, all right, I'm like, let me find something. So I just picked up the American Airlines menu, yeah. and I had my pen, and I gave it to him. And he's trying to sign the autograph, but the fucking pen won't write. Uh, <laughs> dude, <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't practice autograph. No, I have one of the pens that we use here, like, not that one, but the other ones, and he's shaking it. And I see him reaching into his pocket for a oh, pen. No. Oh, no, now it's a big God. pain in the now ass. Now it's a pain in the ass, and I go, ah, my pen sucks. Nothing. Oh, God. It was oh, fucking... Jimmy, this is a... Guy, he writes, he wrote, uh, Dear Jim, uh, it was nice flying with you and best wishes. No, it Nick wasn't Cage. nice no, flying wasn't. with you. But, he get, but it was nice, though. He didn't just sign it. And, you know, uh-huh. he, gave, he was very, very nice. So whatever. I couldn't be angry. And then uh, we walked off the plane, and that was that. Oh. But I heard him say to his driver, 
Because yeah. he had his luggage, I guess, downstairs. I just heard him say it was rubber, but can I just wait in the car? Like, he just wanted to go. Oh, fuck, sit. yeah. He didn't want to be bothered by anybody. Mm. And uh, and by anybody, he meant Jim Norton. Yeah, he certainly <laughs> did. But there's